All right. So let's turn our attention to some of the fights that are happening this weekend. So we got a um is it um one or two belts on the line uh for the 140 with Progress versus um Zepeda? This is one belt. This is a vacant. This is yeah, the fighting. Vacant. They're fighting for Josh Taylor's vacated WBC belt. And well, they tried to screw I know they took two, two of his belts away, but yeah, okay. So it's, But this is only a WBC. Remember they tried to make the Jose Ramirez fight? And I'm yep, sure somebody right. threatened to sue the WBC, which they should have. And Ramirez pulled out with family, commit some bullshit. So yeah, one belt. So the WBC belt. All right. So this fight is between the 27 and 1 Regis Progress, and he is fighting. Jose Zapata, who is 35 and two. Um, I think that this is going to be a good showcase for uh, progress. A lot of people don't know about progress and, you know, um, how, how good of a fighter that he, he is. Um, I don't think he's really had opportunity. He, he only has one loss and it was a majority decision to, to Josh Taylor. Um, and with Zapata, he is somebody who, Anytime that he's been kind of asked to like step up um, to that next level, he seems to fall just short um, in there. So his his losses are to uh, Jose Carlos Ramirez and to um, back in the day he uh, he was retired in the second round um, by Terry Flanagan, but this was from a a, a an injury, uh, but. Um, any thoughts? So let's let's go ahead. We're, we're going to go ahead and give our pundit picks on this. But let's. Um, I'll start with uh, Coach Dave. Uh, what do you, what, what are your thoughts on this um, on this one forty? Because because if if you think about this fight right here, this is going to kind of set the table for all of those other fighters who are going to be making their way up to one hundred and forty pounds. So when you talk about uh, Canelo Alvarez and at some point Tank Davis and other points, you know, so the ones who are able to hold the belts in there, they're going to be able to be able to hold some leverage when it comes to negotiating, you know, with these fighters. And then you also got to think about Ryan Garcia, uh, who's eventually going to be at 140 pounds. So I I, I don't know a lot about Zapata, Zapata, however you pronounce his name. And and to be honest with you, man, I, 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 I literally think I've, I may have seen two of this guy's fights, man. Honestly, I may have seen just two, just for the sake of of, of, of openness here, man. Um, but I think, I just think maybe Prograde's determination might. I think it's going to be a bad decision. I think I would go mm-hmm. Prograde's by decision. Um, I just think there's times, man, where this guy's just flat determined, and he likes to fight. I, 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 sometimes you know, too much you're right i think so no he just, you know and, I, and i'm just i'm just and again man so so let me be crystal clear man honestly honestly i think it was literally two fights us the body that i've seen maybe but progress just the boy just likes to fight man and you know you know and like somebody just said you know a little bit too much i just think that mindset and him knowing what this could mean the stamp that it can make even on those considering and what it can set him up for. I just think this guy probably sees this as not just, Hey, a, quote, another fight, blah, blah, blah. But I think he is, has a boxing acumen to see what it could possibly mean for him. So I just, I just think we're going to see a lot of out of progress in this fight, man. That, that if that, if that makes any sense. And again, I wish yeah. I could give more of an, an analysis based off of the two fighters, but I just, I just had to humbly say, you know, I only seen this cat fight, twice it wasn't really looking at him to analyze him but i think progress i think it's gonna be by decision yeah so just just to get an eye so progress is the uh negative 375 favorite and uh, zapata is a plus 275 underdog meaning that a hundred dollar mm-hmm. bet will get you back 275 for a zapata and you would need to bet 375 dollars on pre- progress to get back a hundred dollars um Let's go with you, Boston Jerry. What, what are your what, what is your, what's your pundit pick for this fight? I'm going by I'm going with Prograce by by spectacular knockout. The 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 Prograce is one of the best kept secrets in boxing. Now you know you guys know I've been a huge Prograce fan. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. And uh, yeah. Reg, Regis just is going. He's just going to have. He's going to have too much. He's going to have too much for Zapata, and it's going to be apparent very, very early in the fight that Zapata yeah. is uh, overmatched. I think Zapata goes out on a shield, but he goes out. He goes out. And, wow. and, and Regis, yeah, Regis right. is going to stop. I'm going to go in eight rounds, seven to eight rounds. I think he got out. He knocked out Terry Flanagan in what, the seventh or mm. the eighth? Uh, yeah, I'm going in seven, seven or eight rounds. Pro, Pro Grace is Pro Grace just got too much. He's tailor. He's tailor made for that weight too. He's the yeah. he's just he's the perfect yeah. size. He's the, he the perfect dimensions for that for that weight class. And he's just got too much, too much, yeah. too much ability. Yeah. Too much ability. Yeah, he, he, he he stopped his last three opponents um, to um, um, Juan Herodes, um Yvonne Redcatch, yeah. and Tyrone M McKenna. Yeah, Radcash tried to act like he got hit low, or whatever, and tried to get him disqualified. I don't know if y'all remember that. That was on Triller, I believe. The Radcash, yeah. Radcash. No, but he he just he he yeah, used it like saying, man. Think you went out, coach. Yeah. Hey, so I'm gonna jump in right here. Yeah, um, go ahead, oh no, I'm just saying hey. Go ahead, Randy. My my take is uh I, I think this is uh Paul Gray's coming out party. I, I know he he's he's he a volley vet, he's been out there, but I think this is his coming out party. He win this, he is set to have two additional two possibly two additional High profile fights. Uh, uh, Teofimo fighting Sandor, uh, Sandor mm -hmm. Martin. And the winner of that, um, I think is already mandated to fight, uh, uh, Pro Gray. I think they're already uh, negotiating that that's going to be a mandatory, the winner of that one. So that's like we've always been talking about, like eliminators. I think, I think WBC is trying to do it. I don't know the politics behind it that, that, that doesn't make it happen, but at least. Uh, the, from from uh, the convention that they had a couple of weeks ago, these were these were laid out like uh, pro grade fights to pay them for the belt, and then their first mandatory would be against the Teofimo. But then now he he's fighting Sandor Martin, who is number five. So that's going to be a great fight. And then so the winner of that fights uh, pro grade if, uh, if it's uh, pro grade against Teofimo Lopez. Tell me they ain't know how how pro power fight. It, oh yeah, that's just, that's, just, that's and then after that, fight. like you said, uh, 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 Garcia coming up uh, uh, to one forty. Yeah. Well, Garcia getting ready to fight, it maybe fighting Tank at this catchweight here. So I think yeah, Garcia. The catchweight, but I'm saying eventually, I'm, we talking like two fights, two fights that two to three fights down the line. Ah, uh, okay, right, right, yeah. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. And so yep. he he can be he can if he do it right and spectacular, he can start to be the face of, uh, of the one forty division. He can, unfortunately, for Regis, he's kind of you know like Willie Will Monroe talked about it. He's a he's one of those free agents, and you know nobody bid on this fight. I'm not even sure what network this fight is going to be on here. While I'm let's 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 check here because it ain't on ESPN. I believe that Zapata is in fact a top ranked fighter. This fight's going to be on Fight TV. Wow! Right, right. So. I, I I wish that it could be a coming out party, man. But unfortunately, yeah, I don't think man. that Fight somebody TV will, is going to provide the platform. Up, I think I think somebody will pick him up after this fight. Once he has the belt, somebody will pick him up. Yeah, I don't know that Regis wants to be. Signed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, yeah. I I think it's kind of by choice. But um, the casual ones, you you got him by decision or I, I say pretend. Knockout and ten. You, you yeah. kind of took my pick. I, I, I would say so. So you say the tenth. I'll go with eleventh round. I think that I, I think that Z Zapata is um is a is a good fighter. I think that he's just under the level of a progress. And um, when progress is in there, um, he he likes to go for the knockout, and then he's gonna make you fight um three minutes of every round. Uh, and if you're not willing to do that, um, then he's going to take you out. Uh, so I'm going to go with the late late round stoppage, uh, 11th round stoppage with Pro Grace. Um, and I, I'd like to see him go on to better things. I, I, I definitely see him after this fight fighting 
a TFEMO uh, Lopez. And this will be a good barometer to see exactly where TFEMO is at this point. Remember to like and subscribe. Make sure that you comment too. We appreciate the love and we appreciate the hate on there. It's all good for for conversation. And we will try to get, you know, to respond to to, to most of y'all. But Oh, I will. I definitely will. Yeah, yeah. Boston Jared definitely will. To. Uh so this is my man. This is Professor Nam signing out for the casual ran. Peace. Coach Dave Rip. and Boston Jared. Peace. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Hey.